Konnichiwa! Welcome to another Anime Week! As always, I'm Josh the Fox Mills, and here on Tuned In, I review cartoons. No matter how new, no matter how old, no matter the cost. In this final week of Girl Month, I'll take a look at a corporate empire created by an adorable little mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm greeting to today's cartoon. Say it with me. Hello, kitty. What's the matter with the clothes you're wearing? Can't you tell that it's super cute? The way you're beating up all the bad guys wearing ribbons and a sailor suit. Japan has to offer unique animation. It's going to get by this fat Caucasian. Those tunes, new or old, even if it's trash or gold, it's still animate. Created by the Sanrio Company and Yuko Yamaguchi in 1974, Hello Kitty is a staple of the kawaii section of Japanese culture. Hello Kitty is UNICEF's special friend of children and is used to do good work for that organization. What started as just a cute mascot for a school supply company became a global phenomenon. Yes, by 2010, Sanrio has groomed Hello Kitty into an international marketing giant worth $5 billion a year. And why not? This pussycat's personage is printed on purses, pouches, pockets, and panties. Even... Darth Vader? I find your lack of friends disturbing. Seriously, merchandising for Hello Kitty is everywhere. Frozen dinners, dresses, lunch boxes, baby car seats, commercial airliners, $5,000 pieces of jewelry, a chain of Hello Kitty cafes, and two theme parks. At this point, Kitty's a real fat cat, am I right? Back to the review. Several Hello Kitty series have been made, but I'm only going to look at the first one today. Hello Kitty's Furry Tale Theater aired in 1987 and had 13 episodes broken into two 11-minute cartoons, making for about 26 episodes in total. The main character is not actually named Hello Kitty, but rather she is Kitty White and she's British. Born in London, England on November 1st, Kitty is a little girl who is five apples high and only weighs three apples. Obviously, her head takes up most of the mass. Kitty's a little girl, huh? So, that means she's actually human, right? Well, no. The correct Japanese term would be a gaijinka. She is an anthropomorphic cat and is about as much a cat as Mickey Mouse is a mouse. That being said, she's not really human either. Hello Kitty's Furry Tale Theater, as the name suggests, is set up so each episode is like a stage play for famous fairy tales like Beauty and the Beast, Snow White, Cinderella, and Star Wars? Well, I guess that explains the Darth Vader. Yes, some of the tales they tell are actually parodies of movies popular at the time. The theater has a full acting cast, including other Sanrio icons, like Tuxedo Sam, the penguin, Catnip and Fangora, a mother and daughter Siamese cat duo, who often takes the villainous roles in the plays, as well as others. Kitty White, in the English dub, was voiced by Little Boy with Fairies, Tara Strong. In fact, Hello Kitty was Tara's first major animated role. Oh, Tara. Uh, um, anyway, back to Hello Kitty products for a moment. Kitty's likenesses have also been seen on wine, over 18 video games, and a Hello Kitty maternity hospital. Wait, is that a chainsaw? Is that a gun? That's crazy! Whoa, this merchandising is getting way too bizarre. It, you know, it kind of makes you wonder. What the fuck? The real question, I guess, is 
how much merchandising is too much? When do the products produced cause art to suffer? Hello Kitty had an advantage, as they were selling products for ten years before becoming an animated series. Some series are not that lucky. But everyone was used to Hello Kitty selling out before it became a series, so the series was just another product to be bought. Hello Kitty became an adorable icon worldwide for a reason. She's a lovable mascot and a charming little cartoon legend. If you like light-hearted, cute cartoons meant for children, then by all means, give Hello Kitty's Fairy Tale Theater a look. Oh! A Hello Kitty theatrical movie is set for release in 2019, so that's something to think about, perhaps. Well, it's time I counteract all this girly stuff. Next time, tune in for Man Month. Until then, viewers, stay tuned!